But now a little more on the race itself and what the parties have been saying up to this point. Our Kim Mulgan is at the National Assembly, and she's been following the campaigns for us. Mulgan, take us through the race and how it stands now. Sure, Devin. After two weeks of campaigning, it's make or break day for Korea's politicians. The official campaigning period ended yesterday, and now the atmosphere here seems to be calm, with most parties actually, um, uh, with most parties actually uh, sending encouraging messages for citizens to vote wisely. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea spoke of the North Korea U.S. summit held the previous day, saying that today's vote is crucial in selecting President Moon Jae-in's partners for creating a peaceful Korean peninsula. The main opposition Liberal, Liberty Korea Party also encouraged citizens to vote, saying that the elections are the only way to solve the nation's failing economy and security. The minor opposition Padun Mide Party also highlighted the nation's economic crisis, claiming that through voting, we, the public can bring Asia's fourth largest economy back to life. Out of some 4,000 posts up for grabs today, much attention is focused on the position of Seoul mayor as it's often deemed a stepping stone to the presidency. While candidates from the ruling and main opposition parties Park Won-sun and Kim Munso already casted their ballots during the early voting period, minor opposition party candidate An Cheol Su visited a polling station in Noon District to cast his vote at around 9 a.m. Another special event we're looking at today are the by-elections, which are being held simultaneously to fill 12 vacant seats in the National Assembly. This year's by-elections are being dubbed mini general elections as the results will determine which party will take the majority of the seats in the parliament as currently the ruling party has 118 seats while the main opposition holds 113. In South Korea, becoming the largest party actually means a lot as it selects the parliamentary speaker and has the upper hand when it comes to choosing the heads of the National Assembly's standing committees. All right, Mugan, well, a lot at stake today, and most polls released show the ruling Democratic Party of Korea on track for sweeping wins nationwide. But elections can be unpredictable, and there are a number of variables to keep in mind, right? Well, we can probably point to the overall voter turnout and the number of um, swing voters as variables that could possibly affect the overall um, the results of the elections. Um, though the latest polls show a higher chance for the Democratic Party to take the lead, with the ruling party leading in 14 of the 17 metropolitan cities or provinces, there's hope for other parties, as some polls indicated between 20 to 40 percent of voters still haven't made up their mind about who to vote for. Also holding the key could be voters referred to as shy conservatives who don't tell pollsters that they support the main opposition Liberty Korea Party. Back to you, Devin.